Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bobby Beldrum. And on this episode of Los Santos' Most Wanted, we take a look at Trooper Ripley. A state trooper who's been on the force for several years and has had a number of harrowing encounters. We go now to the studio to LSBN journalist Charity Damos, who's sitting down with Trooper Ripley. Hi, I'm Charity Damos. I'm here today with Trooper Jack Ripley to talk about his more exciting cases. How are you today, Trooper Ripley? I'm fantastic, Charity. Thank you for having me. So what's it been like being a trooper in the state of Los Santos? It is the single biggest honor that has ever been bestowed upon me. Do you have any interesting experiences to talk about as a trooper? Well, I've been a trooper for a long time, so I've seen uh, just about everything there is to see in this city. We've had basically everything you can you can respond to as a cop. Uh, in my time here, we've had terrorist uprisings, assassinations, drug deals, murder scenes, just uh, all all manner. Oh, of course, tons of tons and tons of street racing and other uh, nefarious activities. So. Uh, it's hard to rank everything because every day is just so wild and uh, you never know what you're going to get when you get on duty in the city. Uh, but yeah, from the state police perspective, we see it all. Is there any type of crime that happens in the city that you find especially interesting? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm a, the head of the canine division uh, with the state police. My job is to train and, uh, to, you know, oversee the canine program. So most interesting to me uh, in my style of police work is uh, drug-related uh, activities where I can introduce a, a well-trained police dog to a crime scene and change the dynamics of the investigation entirely. Um, so those are most interesting to me. A lot of criminals know how to smooth talk their way out of most crimes and feel almost arrogant about it. So uh, when they see a highly trained police dog from one of my... Uh, uh, canine teams show up at the crime scene, uh, they suddenly know that uh, the dynamic has definitely shifted in the cop's favor. What kinds of things do the dogs find, usually? Uh, we found uh, cured meth. We found bricks of cocaine. Uh, one time on a routine traffic stop, I pulled over uh, an individual, and uh, while talking to the individual, my canine indicated the presence of something uh, in the trunk. I noticed an odd odor myself. And uh, there was some discoloration near the trunk. Uh, I had the uh, occupant step onto the sidewalk while we detained them for questioning. And uh, when I searched the trunk, I found that it was full of limbs, uh, arms, legs, a, he a head, uh, a torso. So uh, that was an interesting case. Uh, that led to a, uh, a murder conviction. So, uh, yeah, that was not what I was expecting for a routine traffic uh, infraction type stop. I was maybe expecting a few joints or maybe a bottle of Oxy, but I was not expecting a, uh, a dead body in the, in the trunk. Is there any case that you've had to deal with where you couldn't find the person responsible? Yeah, uh, the biggest one in my career uh, has been extremely personally impactful to me. I get asked all the time, Ripley, what happened to your eye? You used to have two eyes, now you have one eye. Uh, when I was uh, first made a trooper, I was... Uh, uh, perfectly healthy and had two eyes, but uh, after a while and turns that my career took, I was uh, one night abducted by masked men who delivered me to a uh, gentleman uh, in grapeseed who proceeded to torture me for several hours. Uh, they used all manner of horrific devices, including blow torches, broken glass, a wrench, uh, a long ceremonial dagger uh which they used to uh, cut off my uh distinguished mustache at the time and also carve my eyeball out of my head and then uh tried to murder me so that was the single worst night of, night of my life and i uh, did everything i could to move on from it and survive it i ended up going through therapy to uh to sort of get over it but uh, unfortunately uh, as much as it breaks my heart to say it that investigation went cold and uh, nobody from the uh, detectives uh, that we have in any law enforcement agency was able to uh, successfully pick up the trail. So uh, sometimes it hits close to home, but they still get away with it. I think that's all the questions I have for you, Trooper Ripley. Thanks a lot for your time today. It was my pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. For LSBN and Charity Demos, I've been Bobby Beldrum, 
And this has been Los Santos' Most Wanted. Hello, uh, yeah, I know uh, Trooper Ripley. He's a cop on the police force. Uh, I know him pretty well because I had to investigate him after he shot other deputies and then tried to hide it from everybody else. Uh, he also has openly threatened people to get sick criminals on us. Uh, he's a cop, by the way. Yeah, I know Trooper Ripley. Um, he's always running around the locker room with no pants on. He's got a huge wiener. He's like, hee hee hee, look at this. He's helicopter dicking. Um, good guy. Good guy. Nice guy. Knows a lot about the law. And um, yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a jokester. I like that guy. All right. I Thanks, think guys. he's a member of Chang Gang, too. Criminal organization. Thank you. All right. Next time on Los Santos Most Wanted. This individual is wanted for crimes of the highest degree. Planting car bombs on the vehicles of multiple police officers. Kidnapping and torturing members of the Unified Police Department. Weapons trafficking, terrorism, and treason.